Dorian Penaglu for DorianPenaglu.com and today I'm going to let you know about what the ISO in your camera is. This has been a long series on how to get out of auto and the last thing you need to know about is your ISO. Your ISO is a sensitivity to light. What this means is when you're at a 50 ISO and your shutter speed's too slow and your image is still not uh, exposed properly, then what you're going to have to do what? Camera's flipping out. If your shutter, if your ISO is at 50, and your shutter speed and your aperture are still as low as they can go, and your image is still underexposed, that means you're gonna have to bump your ISO up. When you bump your ISO up, it allows the light to come into the the processor in order to lighten up the image. The one issue with ISO is that it's gonna be adding grain to your photos as if it was an after processing of shadows or gamma or anything like that. So make sure with your ISO that you don't raise it too high. Usually most cameras are good around 800 ISO, 1600 ISO. If you have a full frame camera you can go a little bit further. But you'll start seeing noise around 1600 ISO. The only time you really want to bump your ISO up higher than the smallest number ISO is when you need to get your shutter speed quicker or to get your aperture a higher aperture. Otherwise, you want your ISO to constantly be on whatever the lowest number can be as there will be less noise added to the picture. Hope you guys understand ISO a little bit better. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. And as always, subscribe. This is Dorian Pettigrew for DorianPettigrew.com. See ya!